Welcome to the Gospel Corner. I apologize, it's been so long between videos. The Lord has led me to Psalm 103 to share with you today. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. But the Lord's saying here is he's there for you. In verse 13 of Psalms 103, it says, Like a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him or respect him. For he knoweth our frame. He remembereth that we are dust. We have such a loving Heavenly Father, who gave his son Jesus for us. You know, we go through the mountaintops and then we go through the valleys. And the song I'm going to sing today is uh, God on the Mountain. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain and you've got peace of mind like you've never known. But when things change and You've drawn down in the valley, don't lose faith for you're never alone, for the God on the mountain is still coming. Oh, 
never leaves us nor forsakes us. I just read. He remembers that we are dust. He is a tender, compassionate God. Who are we that God should even love us? Songs called, Who Am I? When I think of how he came So far from glory Came to dwell among the lowly Such as I To suffer shame and such disgrace eternal life from our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the devil makes it look like he's trying to put a bunch of rules on us, and that's not what it is. That law is the law of love to show us the way that we will be happiest. My brother and uh, sister-in-law and my sister Rena and her husband Bob, and they, uh, my brother Bill and Diane, they missed this yesterday when I sang um, 10,000 Angels at Church, so I'm going to repeat it and sing it again. 
They wanted to hear it. My grave be blessed. They bound the hands of Jesus in the garden where he prayed. They led him through the streets in shame. They spat upon the Savior so pure and free from sin. They said, crucify him. He's to blame. He could have called ten thousand angels to destroy the world and set him They placed a crown of thorns. They laughed and said, Behold the king. They struck him and they cursed him and they mocked his holy name. All alone he suffered everything. He could have called ten thousand angels to destroy the world and set him free. He could have called ten thousand angels, but he him to the cross. His mother stood nearby. He said, woman, behold thy son. He cried, I thirst for water. But they gave him none to drink. Then the sinful work of man was done. He could have called ten thousand angels to destroy the world and set him free. He could have called ten thousand angels, but he died alone. howling mob he yielded he did not for mercy cry the cross of shame he took alone and when he cried he's finished he gave himself to die salvation's wondrous plan was he could have called ten thousand angels to destroy the world and set him free. He could have called ten thousand Praise the Lord.
Thank you, Lord, for dying for me. There was a woman of Samaria. She was at the well drawing water, and Jesus was sitting there waiting for his disciples to get something to eat. You know, she was looking for things in all the wrong places, trying to find happiness, just like the world's doing now. Jesus said, I have living water if you come to me. And you'll never thirst. And you don't when you have Jesus, because he supplies your thirst, your need. <clears throat> like the woman at the well I was seeking for things that would not satisfy and then I heard my Savior speaking draw from around they, they know what I used to be like I'm ashamed of it today but I can use the experience of what I was and what I did to help others the way I tried to find happiness and peace and uh, uh, everything that I tried to do failed everything failed it never ended in the happiness that I was looking for. The happiest I've been is since I found Jesus Christ, my Lord, as my Savior. And with all the things 
that are happening today in the world. I mean, really, what else is there? Who are you going to trust? I trust the creator of the heavens and the universe and the world. That's who I trust. I trust the word of God that shows me the way to eternal life. This world isn't enough for me. It's not done anything for me that I expected. But Jesus has. And God the Father has. They have done more for me than I ever could have imagined. Now this is where you're going to find real comfort. This is where you're going to find all the answers. This is where you're going to find you're not afraid of anything when you do this. Sitting at the feet of Jesus. What words I hear him say, happy place so near, so precious, may it find me there each day, sitting at the feet of Jesus, I would look up Prayer, 
sitting at the feet of Jesus, talking to him. Anywhere you're at, anywhere you are, in a store, anywhere, you can reach out to Jesus. Take him with you everywhere you go. Your life will become totally different. There, there, it won't, the things going on around you in this world, the virus, the turmoil, the, the things that are happening with tornadoes and whatever is happening with houses and land and business, all of that takes a back seat when you are with Jesus and he is leading you. Praise the Lord. He takes your worries away. Life becomes abundantly full. You can smile at times when you normally wouldn't. You can share love to others who have no hope. Because when Jesus comes into your heart, you can't keep it in. You want to tell everybody. Yes, this is what happened. This is exactly what happened to me. <clears throat> oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Day I will never forget. After I'd wandered in darkness away, Jesus, my Savior, I met. Oh, what a tender Oh, when 
And at the cross the Savior made me whole. My sins were washed away, and my night was turned to day. I don't think my throat's going to last much longer, folks. I wanted to sing a little more, but it has a mind of its own, I guess, today. You know, the Lord promises in Hosea 14, verse 4, God, the Lord God said, when we come to him, he said, I will heal their backslidings. I will love them freely. No matter what you have done, no matter what, you can come to the Lord God. He said, I will love them freely, for mine anger is turned away from him. Won't you choose Jesus today? He's coming very soon. He's going to take those who have him in their heart, who are doing his will. He's going to take them home with him to heaven. Won't you please accept Jesus as your personal Savior, as a shepherd watches over his sheep so tenderly, where he went out and, and looked for the lost sheep and left the 99 in the fold. Out on the mountains and barren and rocks and over cliffs and just horrible terrain. He paints that picture of going out after that lost sheep. You see, that's what he's been doing for you. No matter what life you've been walking down, no matter what sins you have committed, he's been going out there searching for you, wanting to bring you back to him. Let's have prayer. Father, thank you that we may come to you. Come before your throne, your mighty glorious throne. We ask forgiveness of our sins. We ask, dear Lord, that you would pardon us with your mercy and grace, that you would sustain us. We ask, dear Lord, for all the people watching, that you would take away their fears, take away their diseases, take away their cares. Give them faith. Fill them with the faith that only you can give. Give them a relationship with you, Lord. Don't stop pleading with them to come to you and grow strong in you because you love them so much that you let people spit on you. You let them hit you and slap you and beat you and, and scourge you. But most of all, you carried all of our sins and took the blame and you were sinless. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for giving your Son. I give you praise, honor, glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a very blessed week. I love you all in Jesus' name. <laughs>